basically redid Shingwetsi in 16 hours. We had 16 hours in Shingwetsi. We saw hyenas eating an impala, or a hyena eating an impala. We saw a pride of lions um, feast on a carcass of a giraffe that I think when we got there, they had probably killed the giraffe within the last hour. We saw incredible bird life. We saw amazing herds of elephant. We saw buffalo. So it definitely is worth it coming up north, visiting Shingwetsi. We didn't love the campsite. It's a little bit too open. That There were no trees. It's just like one big open area for camping. just want to find a big tusker because I've never ever ever seen them with my own eyes so far so that I actually said I don't believe that they exist anymore but check this out Always a bittersweet moment for us when we know it's the last time we're gonna cross the Litaba River Bridge. But ugh, man, you need a get you if you haven't been here before. We're at the Nwamanzi lookout point in the Kruger National Park. This is one of the spots that I think the Kruger National Park shows off with. 
view is incredible. Just quickly looking, we can spot a few hippos. We see crocodiles. We, over here, there's a, there's a few monkeys and one with a very, very little baby. Check this out. So I would definitely say if you're heading, if you're traveling between Willyfant and Letaba and Satara, definitely take time out of your trip to come to the Normanzi Lookout Point. It is incredible. You will not regret it. Now we have a monkey trying to get into the car. <laughs> yeah, so this is the one thing I actually said while we were driving up here. Every single time we've been here, the monkeys have been extremely naughty and if you leave a door or a window open and you walk five meters away from your car they will try and get in so just be mindful of that but yeah check this view out incredible guys there's a baby giraffe the umbilical cord is still attached to its tummy just to give you an idea of how young it is thing about the Willyfonts bridge is you can also get out of your car here and take some incredible photos. We're having a beautiful day in the central Kruger National Park. It's 29 degrees and it's quarter past one so it's really nice warm but still bearable. We've seen a lot of wildlife traveling in this area today. We still haven't found lions here yet, but I'm sure we are going to. again for the second time on this trip our previous track record in the Kruger Park is we've never seen the cheetahs and on this trip we've seen them twice what over what we saw them three, four, four three days, days yeah. apart three or four days apart but they're pretty far I'm gonna try get it on the camera to show you guys um, but they're pretty far away from us but still we found them again We're at 
at the Munzandani picnic spot. Munzandani, Munzandani. Um, from Sitara, we decided we're going to take the Sweeney Loop Road for an afternoon drive. On that road, we found um, lions sleeping under a tree. And 400 meters from there, we found two cheetahs also lying under a tree. They were pretty far away. So when we go back now, we're going to pass them again and see if they move perhaps. This is a great picnic spot. It's very quiet. Like, I want to say like the last three times we've been here, there's been no other cars, so it's really peaceful, quiet. You can hear all the nature sounds and the birds chirping. We have an elephant at the water hole close to the, close to the picnic spot. But yeah, we're grabbing a beer, stretching our legs a bit, and then we're going to continue. Yes, we had an amazing day uh, in the Satara area of the Kruger National Park. We're in camp now. T took a shower. I'm busy tabarding it up. <laughs> yeah, but we made a fire. We're gonna make some nice dinner, get an early night's sleep, and then we start again at 5.30 tomorrow morning. Hey guys, so in Shingwetsi, we saw a mouse climb into the wheel of the car. But I thought it went away. We couldn't find it when we looked for it. And our drawer now. And if you can see, right there behind the tire pressure monitor. There's the mouse. We've got in our drawer. Morning guys, so this is our last morning, we're packing up, then we're going to head home. We had an amazing trip, the Kruger National Park is a magnificent place. We can't wait to get back, we're definitely going to come see if we can chase the floods if they happen, what, in February? Whenever they happen we'll make plans to come, we're not going to miss that out this time, we're not going to miss that this time. Yeah, we're making a cup of coffee, getting dressed, and we're going to have an easy morning, relaxing it on the way back home.